Welcome to Pronate. This is the third video in a series of three short videos that introduce the badminton forehand. Pronate aims to help you hit the shuttle faster with greater ease, control and precision through education and practice. This video concentrates on basic forehand training. It combines the elements of grip and stroke using suggested strokes and practices. This video introduces two forehand shots that are mainly used in singles. The shots may be learned by beginners and are used by international players. Each shot focuses on different sources of racket rotation, shoulder rotation, pronation and finger power. Training suggestions are offered for each shot, including practice games. In the next short clip, Lindan in black plays a delayed forehand clear with no body rotation. Watch carefully as it happens quickly. The delayed forehand clear with no body rotation is a deceptive offensive shot. The aim of the shot is to show the opponent an intended drop shot and afterwards perform a clear shot. If the shot has the desired effect, the opponent will be pressurised at the back of the court, allowing the player to move towards the net to cover likely replies. Watch the same clip again, very much slowed down. Notice how Wang Zhengming is deceived by the stroke. You can see this in the small misstep he makes. This shot is suitable for teaching the youngest of players and it utilises shoulder rotation, pronation and finger power. Here's how it's played. The grip for this shot is the standard forehand grip, possibly rotated a little towards the panhandle grip if the shuttle is hit in front of the body. The starting position for this shot is that the non-racket foot is near the centre line. The player should be as close to the net as necessary to play the shot to the opposite baseline without difficulty. The player's feet should be roughly shoulder width apart and the player should be facing forward. The racket should be pointing straight up, slightly ahead of and a half a metre from the side of the body. Start the backswing by moving the elbow forwards and upwards. At the same time, supinate the forearm and bend the elbow so that the racket moves backwards and downwards. Pause when the racket is horizontal and pointing backwards. This indicates to your opponent that you're about to do a drop shot. After the pause, start the forward swing by rotating the shoulder, extending the elbow and pronating the forearm. Tighten the grip just before impact, which should be a bit in front of the face and a half metre to the side of the body. The follow through consists of continuing to rotate the shoulder, pronating the forearm and clenching the grip until the racket is parallel to the sidelines. After that, circle the racket back up by rotating the shoulder the other way and supinating. The footwork for the shot is that the player lifts the racket leg to move towards the shuttle. The player strikes the shuttle just after the racket foot is placed, facing forwards on the floor. Here's the shot again. The second shot is the forehand offensive lob shot with deception. This shot mainly uses finger power and pronation to generate force. Here are two examples of it. The first is played by Kenichi Tago in black. It might be easier to see from a different angle, replayed more slowly. The second shot is played by Taufa Kidiat wearing red and black. Again, here's the same shot more slowly from a different angle. The aim of the shot is to trick the opponent into thinking you're going to play a forehand net shot and then to play an offensive lob shot. The intention is to get a weak rear court response and so the player can wait at the front of the mid court for the reply if the shot is successful. The grip for this shot is the standard forehand grip. The starting position is approximately two steps from the net, facing forward with feet shoulder width apart. The racket should be pointed over the net in an upward direction. The swing starts by supinating the forearm until the palm faces up and extending the elbow so the racket moves towards the net tape. When the racket reaches the tape, the racket face will point slightly towards the net. Deception is created by holding this position for as long as possible. A second backswing starts by supinating and moving the hand slightly downwards with the loose grip. The forward swing starts by raising the elbow, pronating and tightening the grip. At the point of impact, the racket face should be facing downwards towards the net. The follow through consists of continuing the pronation and bending the elbow to arrive at the starting position again. If the second backswing is long, the shuttle will go straight. If it is short, then the shuttle will go cross court. The footwork for this shot is that the racket foot is placed on the floor at the same time as the net shot is marked. You should be able to see that from the next clip where Lindan, in black, plays the same shot.
The two strokes can be practiced without the shuttle initially. Afterwards, practice each shot and their deceptions using hand-fed shuttles. Once the basic technique is learned, targets may be used. When the technique is established and practiced, two players may make rallies from the shots. A final development might be to have a practice game using only these shots. This will give the players greater understanding of what makes each shot successful.